So I think it's actually rather poetic that I'm making this video today because on Monday I talked about how Infinity Ward was finally listening to the community and today I'm talking about the big mistake that I think they're making. It's just the kind of roller coaster you get every single year with Call of Duty. One good thing happens, seven bad things happen and you end somewhere in the middle. But today we're specifically talking about two things. One to do with multiplayer, which we'll get into in a minute. And the second one, I think you guys probably knew it by looking at the title of the video, is the DMZ wipe. I think this is something that is kind of the hot topic currently within Call of Duty. And I wanted to talk about it from a little bit of a different perspective than probably you're going to get from most people making this kind of video. But before we dive into those two things, let me first tell you about today's video sponsor. This video is sponsored by Manscaped.com, the global brand for men's grooming and hygiene product. And Manscaped offers the best tools and liquid formulations for the three major odor zones, the body, the butt, and the balls. And they hooked me up with a bunch of stuff in their all-in-one performance package 4.0. So let me show you what they sent me. First of all, we have the Lawnmower 4.0 body trimmer. This is Manscaped fourth generation of electric waterproof trimmer with advanced skin safe technology, which reduces nicks and cuts on those most sensitive regions of your body. The Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer has a super smart cordless charging system and these LED lights on the front show you just how much juice you have left. Now, two things you probably didn't know you need are what's called the Crop Preserver and the Crop Reviver. First of all, you simply apply the Crop Preserver after your daily shower for all your body odor protection. Then the Crop Reviver is a convenient spritz with cooling aloe vera to quickly refresh the area wherever you need it. And then Manscaped really has you covered from head to toe. This is their Weed Whacker Nose and Ear Hair Trimmer. It's a wireless nose trimmer with the same skin safe technology as the groin trimmer. So you don't have to worry about tugging or cutting on your ears or your nose because that's just as bad. Now for a limited time, you can get this with two free gifts. First of all, you have the Shed Travel Bag and the Manscaped Anti-Chafing Boxers. If you want to get your hands on the Performance Package 4.0, you can follow my link down in the description. And if you use coupon code INKSLASHER at checkout, you can get yourself 20% off your order. Keep yourself fresh where it really counts. Thank you, Manscaped, for sponsoring the video. And Manscaped, always use the right tool for the job. So diving in, let's start out with the multiplayer one because this one we can go through quick and then the DMZ one is definitely the bigger of the two. So as far as multiplayer goes, you may have heard today, especially if you follow Charlie Intel, that it appears as though Museum is going to be making a return within season two. Now Museum was a map that was originally in the Modern Warfare 2 beta. And then when the game finally came out, it was not there. It was speculated that they removed it for copyright reasons, like they used a the location that they technically weren't allowed to. Now we don't know if that was actually the case or not, but that is kind of what we heard. Now, it is rumored that this is going to be returning in season two, and with it, there is the worry that this is going to be one of the new quote unquote maps for season two. And the other rumored map is Castle, a map that is not new at all. They are maps from previous games, or in this case with Museum, from this game, and they're not new maps at all. Now, we don't know if they're gonna be marketing as that. It's just a worry that they are going to, and only time will tell. Once we get the official blog post with the roadmap and things like that, we will discuss this a little bit more. But as for now, Museum might be returning. It's just, I really, really hope it's not considered a new map, even if they make changes to it. I really hope that it's just in conjunction with whatever new they were already planning for season two. All right, now the big one, DMZ. If you haven't heard already, DMZ is getting completely refreshed. So essentially, all of your faction miss mission progress, all of your contraband, and assumably, they haven't announced this yet, but your insured weapon slots are probably going to be gone too. Now, this is weird for a couple of reasons. First of all, they never stated that this was something that they were gonna do. They never came out and said, every single season after season one, there's gonna be a seasonal refresh. Here's what's gonna happen. Three weeks before it's happening, they just said, hey, just so you know, all of that progress you've been working for, it's going to be gone soon. Try to finish up your missions. Or is there even really a point to finish up the missions? The rewards for most of the missions are getting those insured weapon slots. They are getting contraband. They are getting the keys and resources like that to use later on within the game. Oh yeah, did I mention keys are going to be gone as well? Essentially, when season two comes out, you're going to be starting fresh. Now, there are certain things that are good about this. Personally, I haven't really played a lot of DMZ. My personal thought was, hey, let's wait till season two. Once that boots up, they'll probably add another faction, more challenges, it'll be more refined, maybe it'll be out of beta, and then I can hop in and start grinding those missions. Now, it seems as though some of those missions are gonna be gone or they're refreshing them. I mean, it'll be good for me to start off fresh just like everyone else, 
But at the same time, for those people who have played the game a lot, what are their rewards? I mean, I guess they've technically earned emblems, some player skins, some weapon blueprints, things along those lines. But are those just going to be refreshed and you're going to have the exact same missions that you had in the previous season? To me, what would make a lot more sense wouldn't be to refresh the missions or anything like that. It would be add a new faction. Now, there are certain things that I am okay with them getting rid of. The whole idea of removing keys, I think that's actually a cool idea. You can remove keys, change what is in specific locations, and refresh that every season. But to remove all the contraband, all of your mission progress, everything that you have done so far, is very, very confusing to me. And I think the biggest thing is for those people who really worked for those insured weapon slots, to have those go away, I think a lot of people are just gonna be like, well, screw this. I, I don't want to do this all over again. I have a big feeling that that is going to be the case. Not to mention, if you look at other games, the obvious one is Escape from Tarkov. They don't refresh every two months. By the way, I didn't even mention that it appears as though this is going to be a seasonal thing. So season three comes around, refreshing DMZ. Season four comes around, refreshing DMZ over and over and over again. Now, the other side of things, if I'm going to play devil's advocate, they need to do something to keep the game fresh and resetting certain things is, I think, probably the most obvious options like other extraction shooters. I think that's kind of what makes the most sense. But to refresh everything that the way that they seemingly are has me worried for the player base of DMZ. As someone who was planning to get into this more so in season two, I even had like a series planned on the channel for it and things like that. It has me questioning whether there's still going to be players playing at all once this actually happens. Now, again, I'm trying to look at things from the other side. Could this wipe potentially be a good thing? And the short answer is yes, it could potentially be a good thing. If you look at other games that have wipes, generally, that is the thing that brings players back and everyone starts playing once again. Now, if you compare this to other games, again, Wipes don't happen every two months, and it's basically like the release of a whole new game. This, I don't know if that is what we are going to be looking at whatsoever. It depends. Number one, how much do they actually change up the challenges? If they're just the exact same challenges as season one, what the heck's the point of having a wipe at all? They did say that there's going to be a new exclusion zone, which is a probably just going to be the new resurgence map. They did say that there's going to be refreshing different areas and things like that. So yeah, they're going to be switching it up a little bit, but if essentially they're just refreshing it, taking everything away from you and giving you the same missions over and over again, think of it this way. If you're playing a completely different game, let's say you're playing God of War, let's say you're playing Elden Ring, something like that, and you're playing the game and you're about 70% of the way through and they go, well, you better finish up three weeks from now the game starts over. It's the exact same game, but you just have to start over. Do you get to, you know, no, no, no. You, you don't get to keep anything. No, no. You played for like a really long time. I get, I get it. But no, 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 all that stuff. Yeah. Everything you earned every, all that. Yeah. It's gone. Don't worry about it. You can earn it again. Right? No, there's not, there's not going to be anything different. What, why would you, why would you think there's new stuff? There, there's not new stuff. You just have to play it. You just play it again. You can earn all the same stuff all over again. Yeah, have fun. Sorry, I got a little bit carried away with that. But I think you see my point and my worry about that moving forward. If they're going to refresh things, I think it's got to be more than two months. I think they got to really make the game fresh. Refresh areas. Change up what's in them completely. A refresh should be a reason for people to come back to the game, not to get people out of the game, if that makes sense. But hey, that's my thoughts on it. I'm not a huge DMZ player. I was planning on being one. But I don't know after this. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I'm very curious to hear what you guys have to say on this one. Uh, but anyway, that's my thoughts on it. We kind of went off the rails there for a little bit. But uh, yeah, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think down in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button and subscribe to stay up to date on all my videos. But as always, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace out. We are, we are reaching for the stars,